Hello friends, I hope you're very safe and very well. All right. So, um, yeah, I wanted to speak to you about, I mean, I, I keep telling people when they talk about uneven skin and um, surface blackheads, especially on the nose and whiteheads and, and I keep telling them, please go back and watch the video where I've uh, showed you how to polish your face with a tongue cleaner. So, uh, still lots of doubts, so I just thought I will tell you again. So, if you've got, um, you know, uneven skin, I mean, it's bumpy and it's, um, it's got uh, whiteheads and blackheads and especially surface blackheads. If you've got really bad, deep, embedded blackheads, then you really need to steam and then do what I'm showing you, all right? So, um, if you've got really, really deep... Um, um, you know blackheads that are stubborn and refuse to come out and nobody can go to the salon to get things removed from their face so do this at home so steam your face nice and proper and then do this but otherwise and if you do steam then you need to use a scrub and a pack and everything else yeah but uh, on a regular basis how to get your skin smooth soft glowing and um, the surface blackheads whiteheads everything gone this is what you do you need to get yourself a tongue cleaner and polish your face first thing in the morning so you get up in the morning then again there are two ways to do it one is to do it on your face as is otherwise you lather your face up with your face wash and then do it i do it directly on my skin so give pressure and your skin will start turning a little red, but really that doesn't matter. You need to polish your skin out. These are the places where there are blackheads. With this tongue cleaner, you can go to the little, you know, the folds, the crevices, everything. So this every day in the morning get yourself a really nice tongue cleaner which is smooth not sharp and this doesn't cut your tongue right so you're fine you're safe to use this on your skin and I cannot tell you how beautifully well it works I always had an issue with just surface blackheads and and me as everybody knows hate to get facials done so I've in my entire life I probably got it once or twice but you know this is what you do and I have done this and kept my skin you know I used to get these white heads and uh, of course my surface black heads but this does the trick because then later when you do that you get all that muck on your finger which you're shocked first thing in the morning all the toxic waste is coming out through your tongue and your skin so we are going to remove it with this all right after that use your face wash and wash it nice and proper and um, then you remember the yeah the jade roller it's my vitamin c serum that i'm using this is a this is a new batch that has come in and it's all available now so and how much of the vitamin c should you use use as much as you want yeah you don't have to use only one drop of full. You can use as much as you want. And what this vitamin C is going to do is all those acne marks, all of it, it's going to get rid of it. And it really, it's been working wonders for people. So, you know, and this is cold and it's been sitting in the fridge. So... Yeah, so massage your vitamin C directly. Now, you don't have a jade roller. I just love using the jade roller, yeah? If you don't have it, just use your fingers and your palms and massage it into your skin. Every time you use your vitamin C serum, give it like 5-10 minutes before you can layer the rest of your products on. 
skin is a little flushed because of the you know because of the <laughs> tongue cleaner that I used now I'm shooting a video is why I did it really fast but you can do it give pressure and do it with your tongue cleaner till you can feel that the skin is getting really clean and all that bumpiness and all of them go use it on your neck as well please give it five ten minutes let your skin completely absorb this I'm doing a video so i'm doing it really fast and after that what i do is i take my under eye gel it's too hot to use the cream during the day i've got my aqua power as well so under eye gel goes under the eyes give it five ten minutes okay before you layer your products on goes over my eyes as well and my aqua power okay you don't have a jade roller just use your hands All of this goes on the skin is fully absorbed now with the vitamin C serum what I say is please do not go out in the Sun with it or near any heat source in the kitchen right but uh, like in my house I've got Sun streaming in to the house and I and just using it at night but I love to use my vitamin C during the daytime as well and if I'm going out in the Sun then I use it first thing in the morning and then before I go out I wash it off and go out but uh, if I'm in the house and I know I'm going to go next to any heat source or um, with all that sun streaming into the house, I still use my vitamin C. But I do use the uh, SPF 30 because it's milder. Um, it's not as strong as a 40. If I'm going out in the sun, then it's the SPF 40. And it's kind of matte it doesn't leave the skin oily it doesn't leave it you know there that's for inside the house the 30 works beautifully inside the house I don't have to worry about uh, oh my god am I going to sweat too much nothing and the SPF 40 when I go out in the sun but um, so you can use your vitamin C at home during the daytime but if you are planning to go in and cook and if you're planning to I mean just basically step out a little bit please use your SPF 30 yeah and I, I that's what I do I use it and I'm fine to go after that so the vitamin C serum is back in stock. It's been out of stock for a while. And of course, even people who are all over the world internationally can order it. And, and uh, you know, I mean, shipping abroad is really expensive. But uh, when you are ordering your AP products, I can put this in as well as a hyaluronic acid serum. These are two products that can go internationally as well. So the, the vitamin C serum is out and this time I've asked the manufacturers to please drop the, uh, the orange peel extract because that was turning the, the vitamin C uh, color, you know, it was going to golden brown and all that. So people were getting nervous and scared. I said, just don't worry about it. I'm going to get it dropped the next time. So this is without the orange peel extract. It is a stronger version because the, the last version was about 15% this is back to 20% is what we need and it's fabulous it's back in stock right now so that is how I wanted you to uh, definitely definitely start using the tongue cleaner because that will take off all your blackheads and all the the surface uh, whiteheads you know whiteheads don't have heads 
I don't know why it's called heads. Yeah? It's a collection of sebum or oil which is just underneath the skin surface. So when you massage it back into the skin, it just goes. I am a person who faces both whiteheads and surface blackheads. And this is what keeps me safe and my skin not looking too bad. <laughs> so that's the thing. And uh, of course, if you're paranoid about uh, getting tanned, the SPF 30, if you're going out in the sun for a short time uh, or if you want to use it at home, it's the SPF 30. SPF 40, if you're going out in the sun for much longer. So when I go for my gardening and everything else, and I don't sweat, it just, it's mattifying and it's fabulous. Yeah, it's great. So anyway, so uh, keep your skin nice and smooth and polished with your tongue cleaner and... Uh, I, I hope you don't have to keep scrolling down and looking for my videos because I keep asking you to do that. Anyway, you take really good care of yourselves and I shall see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.